If you are sweating, you are giving off heat energy. And if you are sunbathing, you are receiving solar energy. But what kind of energy do living things um, have in the body to allow them to make things work? The answer is ATP. In this lesson, you will learn the structure and function of this energy storage molecule called ATP. First, ATP is the energy used to fuel a cell and its processes, like cell division or making enzymes, similar to a rechargeable battery in your body. It is recyclable. More on that in a minute. Let's first tackle its important structure. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. Let's write that out. It's called adenosine because it's made of an important nucleotide base called adenine, found inside this word which is also bonded to a sugar molecule called, says R-I-B here, called ribose. Okay, so adenosine is a nucleotide base plus a five carbon sugar called ribose. Okay, and is also bonded to three phosphate groups. Hence, the word tri for three and P noted here, these are noting phosphate molecules. So the key to these molecules' ability to store energy is in the last bond between phosphates. This is a very high energy bond that when severed or broken releases a great deal of energy. So let's talk about how ATP gets recycled in the body. Well, as we said, this ATP molecule loses its third phosphate when energy is released. When this happens, ATP, noted here, because there is three, turns into ADP. What does the D stand for? D di, meaning two. All ADP molecule, molecules need now is a little bit of energy to recharge and with that um, turning ADP into back into ATP and then the cycle continues. ATP is an incredibly important molecule to metabolic pathways in living systems. It is found in all things including bacteria, plants, animals, anything living. We can call it an energy dump truck in a way because although ATP isn't energy itself, it stores energy in these high energy bonds and drives chemical processes by dumping off the phosphate groups whenever necessary. So remember, where that high energy bond is placed and when you think of energy in the body, just think ATP.